Hi, my name is Matt Miner. I'm a junior from Scott Catholic. Um, and this is There's No Room for Gray. I once cleaned my childhood bedroom, and amidst the piles of Game Boys and Shonen Jumps, I found a Bible. And then another, and another, and another, and another. In my room, I had five Bibles, and they were all different sizes and colors, and had different pictures and editions. And I never opened them. I used to cherish them. I read Matthew a lot because I wanted to understand how my namesake got into it. I read Jonah because I was waiting for Pinocchio to join him in the whale's mouth. But the Bibles all collected dust next to the copies of Harry Potter and Percy Jackson. Last year at my Catholic high school, I was named Theology Student of the Year. And last year, I, was, I identified myself as agnostic. As one girl so aptly put it, I just think it's so funny because you like hate all religions. She didn't understand that I was in a theological purgatory. See, I am the middle child of the cosmos, and I sit on the rails of a theological train track, listening to the warning bells of both sides, one preaching salvation, the other contemplation. My arms curl inward as I search for a stigmata that will never appear. I grasp for a rib that is no longer there, vainly searching for my own Eve to release me. The forbidden fruit is low-hanging, but it's freedom. It's logic, it's reason. With scientific studies, carbon dating, theoretical physics, Darwinism, all things I know to be true, I know how the universe works, but not why. And why is so much more than an axis adjacent to X. I can't find divine beauty in formulas. I long to look into the cosmos and its infinite colors and between the supernovas and black holes and to think there's something out there that cares enough, that loves enough to build it all cell by cell, atom by atom, yet still finds time to lead my grandmother by the hand up to the pearly gates. I know this is beauty, but I can't see it and I can't feel it. I can feel concrete and I know plastic. I know how a hairless piece of flesh that proclaimed itself humanity decided to rise up and build skyscrapers and perfect themselves with medicines and plastics. They built me a mask that functioned as my lungs for the first two years of my life. And both call to me, claiming me. And the only thing that enrages them more than choosing the other is choosing neither, because we live in a universe of ultimatums. There is black and there is white. In an infinitely expanding universe, it seems that there's no room for gray. I'm sorry that I am. I'll try to be omniscient by mass on Sunday morning. <laughs>